Hey guys, Perugia here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the best practices when it comes to dashboard design and some examples of uh, good dashboards. Now, this uh, is going to start uh, with uh, a basic premise and that is uh, a good dashboard really depends uh, on the user's needs and the client's goals. Now, what am I talking about? Essentially, you have to ask yourself uh, questions such as what will be the main purpose of the dashboard or on what devices would a user access that dashboard because it's going to change if it's going to be on desktop, tablet or mobile. And uh, even questions such as how many times will the same user access the dashboard in the same day, week or month because different dashboards are going to serve different purposes some dashboards you're going to access uh, maybe not as often as other ones which are going to be used by thousands of employees each and every day for most of the day. So all these questions are going to be useful and uh, also things like what actions will a typical user take after viewing the dashboard? Is that view only dashboard or is the dashboard uh, which is more operational? And we're going to talk about this uh, in more depth in just a moment. So as you can see, you cannot simply have a look at the dashboard. And by the way, this is one of my earliest uh, UI kits, uh, which I published on UI8. And uh, you cannot uh, really look at the dashboard and say, oh, this is a good dashboard. Uh, you can maybe make that argument just uh, when it comes to the design and the aesthetics. But uh, the aesthetics are always going to be in a secondary position compared to the usability and uh, the structure and the hierarchy of the dashboard, meaning is that dashboard actually going to be useful because you can have the most beautiful designs uh, and uh, you know beauty is up to debate as well too. But uh, at the end of the day, what really matters is, uh, is that dashboard going to accomplish the goals that uh, it was meant for? So definitely keep that in mind. And when it comes to dashboard design, we essentially have three major types of uh, dashboards. The first one is uh, the analytical dashboard. And an analytical dashboard has features that allow for a deeper study of the data which is presented. So they usually include uh, longer time periods as well as drill downs, drill through functions that will allow the user to download the raw data for future use. So very visual in uh, some sense. Now, the second type of dashboard is going to be the strategic dashboard. And that is uh, a higher level business executives that might need a more strategic dashboard to highlight the metrics that are most important for them. So for example, they might want to see a daily or weekly roll on of the company's key performance indicators or objectives and key results. So this is going to be for managerial, uh, for, for manager teams uh, and uh, even the, the CEOs, the COOs and so on. And then we have the third type, which is the operational dashboard. And the operational dashboards focus more on real time updates. So an example would be a customer support team that needs uh, access to customer information and real time changes. So think about uh, chats uh, and uh, those type uh, of uh, dashboards really. And uh, um, essentially, you know, this is going to help uh, understand like knowing which one of these uh, uh, it's going to help you understand the scope of the work and uh, essentially clarify it uh, and structure it better. Now, we also have to keep in mind that uh, things like charts uh, are going to play a major, a major role in some of these uh, dashboards. And uh, even though a chart might look uh, good, uh, the most important thing is function um, over aesthetics. So there's definitely different ways that you can uh, communicate the same data and uh, you have to make uh, the call for which one is uh, going to be the easiest and uh, um, more most efficient way to communicate that data. And uh, another thing that you want to keep in mind when it comes to uh, dashboards is uh, colors, because you can use colors in a very strategic way. So for example, and again, guys, this is a UI kit, so it's not a real life project, but 
As you can see, the blue color is used in a very strategic way for showing the main areas. So where are we in the navigation compared to the other, which are gray and they have less visual emphasis. We also have, we also want visual emphasis on these charts right here and on the premium upgrade uh, button as well as this uh, element right here. So as you can see, all of the elements which are in gray are going to have less visual emphasis compared to this. And uh, the same is true also for these green and reds uh, that you can see right here. So again, at the end of the video, <laughs> you under now understand that uh, there isn't really an example of a great uh, dashboard because I could show you some, some dashboards which, in my opinion, are, are really good, <clears throat> but uh, Again, I would uh, need to understand all the KPIs and all the objectives of that company um, in detail in order to say that it's a great dashboard. Um, personally, I know some dash, I <laughs> understand uh, when there is like a good dashboard, but again, it really is opt for um, debate when it comes to learning more about those uh, uh, those elements, meaning that uh, you really need to understand the context and and the KPIs in order to make that call. And you cannot make it just on the aesthetics alone. Now, granted, there's going to be some dashboards out there, which uh, um, or B2C dashboards, which maybe you uh, you're going to use, so you as a user can understand if it's good or not. Uh, um, but again, there's uh, there's definitely different variables involved, uh, and um, yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I want to remind you that I have a free course on how to get started in UI UX design, as well as over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in more uh, free knowledge where I'm sharing my over nine years of experience and I'll see you in the next video.